Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden at Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing splendidly superb today. And uh, let's take a look at what happened last night in the markets, shall we? So the SPY, glorious little gap and go, gap straight above these pivots. And in the morning, we actually traded fairly sideways, um, throwing in a, a whole bunch of traps, a lot of people getting whipsawed, but as soon as we picked the direction, we broke out, retested, and then went higher. So if you guys did catch the SPY, um, glorious move on that. There was a lot of bullish moves out there today. Um, MU, beautiful, beautiful trade. Uh, there was a nice gap and go on the daily, still moving higher. Um, Apple. Another great gap and go. Almost came down to touch the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. And if we take a look at the weekly, we're almost at the weekly 100 as well. So personally, um, if I take a look at the daily, personally, this was a gap and go, um, which did play out okay on the previous day back on Monday. Uh, however, we have retraced, we have filled this gap and I do expect this thing to come down a little bit lower um, and same with the broader markets as well. I think most of these gaps, uh, most of these gaps up will be short term. Um, so just look for a rollover on Apple. Here's Netflix doing pretty much the same thing as everyone else. Uh, gapped just above the 100 simple moving average on the daily and we did gap up we filled this gap and we had a bit of selling at the end of the day so from here on netflix i do expect there to be a little bit of choppiness um, before we start to move higher maybe throw in some lower lows but all in all i'm still bullish to neutral um on on the overall markets and i'll, I'll talk about the yeah, i'll talk about es Right. So today, well, yesterday, sorry, we had a beautiful, beautiful inside day bullish candle. So, I mean, this can break either way, right? We can break, we can break bullish and then go higher or we can break bearish and then go lower. Personally, I think we'll probably have like an inside day candle to, today and maybe from that direction there, we'll, we'll look to trade back down and then chop around and then slowly trade higher. Uh, here's Pinterest. So Pinterest, uh, we had this nice gap and go, which did fade and now we're basically just rolling back down. So um, with Pinterest, great, great company. Everyone, a lot of people use the, a lot of people use their app. Um, from here, I do think we do go lower. Um, how low? Not entirely sure, but uh, definitely keep your eyes on this one. Here's AMD doing absolute jack squat, going sideways for the last few months. Um, we did gap up, however, at, on a gap and go, and we did retest in the morning. Uh, right here, we retested and then slowly made some gainage. Personally, I'm not in AMD. I'm just keeping it on my watch list for a move higher. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets. Uh, the ASX 200 absolutely screaming bullish after the election over the weekend. Um, all I can say about, well, I'm not a great fan of politics, but all I can say is I hope we don't have another five different prime ministers in the next five years. So hopefully this is the start of the next bull move for XJO and the overall markets in Australia. From here, I'm not actually looking to try and pick the top or buy the top, sorry. I will be waiting for a retracement and then buying the dip. Um, so keep your eyes on XJO for a dip move. And here's CBA. So CBA also gapping up, beautiful gap and go three days ago after the election. A lot of news coming out about the interest rates, having interest rates cuts in June or July. So but really good news for banks um, and, and a lot of the Aussie stocks as well. Um, but pretty much from here, I, I most likely think we will chop around a bit. We are, we are a bit gappy here. We have filled the gap 
almost on CBA from from Friday through to Monday. However, I do think that we will chop around and then slowly go bullish. If you did get to catch this dip from last time I, I spoke about CBA, then well done. I'm sure you're a happy, happy, happy chappy today. Here's NAB gapping above the 200 on the daily chart. Now on the weekly, still below the moving averages. So if we do trade back up into these moving averages, I do think we will consolidate sideways and maybe have a slight dip down. Um, but overall, pretty neutral to bullish on the overall markets. Um, here's APT. So APT having a glorious little pullback. We did have a nice gap and go a couple of weeks ago and I'm still waiting to buy off this dip around 22.48. I will be looking to start legging in and then again back at 19.33. Hopefully this 100 simple moving average will hold this stock up. Um, but as I have said before, I'm not looking to try and pick the top here, I'm not trying to buy, buy at the very top. I do like to buy the dip. Here's DMP. Now, DMP is actually forming a really interesting candlestick pattern called a wicked pair candlestick pattern. Now, these two, these two, these two candles on the weekly chart are forming such a beautiful little double bottom here. I still am looking for a close above 39.92. I thought we were going to get it um, on Monday, but we didn't. We gapped up above and still closed below and then we gapped down. So at this point, I still am looking to go long on DMP. So if you aren't in DMP, um, you, you can look for a trade above, you know, 40.26 with a stop below 38.78. Um, that would be a, that would definitely be a nice, nice trade to get into. But right now I'm just looking for this double bottom to kind of form and then hopefully buy the retest and take this thing back up to the 100. Um, and that's my thoughts on DMP. Here's WTC, Wise Tech Global. Now, I spoke about this on my last stock review that on this day here, that most likely we are gonna come into this resistance and sell off. So that's exactly what, what has happened. Um, I hope you guys did take your profits. If you did, if you are in WTC long, um, Keep buying the dips. I'd still, I still think this is going to be a little bit choppy, just like we've had the last few months. Um, but definitely keep your eyes on WTC to go long. Well, that's all I've got for today, folks. Um, if you've got any tickers that you want me to look at, leave it in the comments sections below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Real Life Trading, hit the comment section below. Uh, hit the subscribe button below. And I will see you on Thursday for another real life stock review. I'll see you soon. Bye.